Reddit. What are some deep dark secrets your family members tried to hide from you, but you found out anyway? My grandma and step grandpa had eloped long before their actual wedding ceremony. Apparently neither of their families wanted them to get married because of a difference of race. My grandma was Filipino and my step grandpa was white, so they waited a couple of years for everyone to approve. After my grandma passed away, I had to go through her things and found their certificate of marriage from Vegas which was certified over a year before the actual day they got married with friends and family as witnesses. I had asked my parents about it, and they had no idea. Apparently neither did anyone else in the family. It doesn't seem like such a dark secret now, but since they kept it to themselves and took it to their graves, it must have been a pretty big deal to them. It's mostly just a sweet story to me, and as someone who had lost all faith in romance, it was kind of encouraging. I may have two or three dead older brothers. I really don't know any more about it beyond that, as literally nobody in my family will talk about it with me. All I know is my grandmother on my mom's side has a picture sitting in the frame of a mirror that hangs on the wall of her house. This picture is of my grandmother and two boys who were between 5-8 years old that I'd never met or heard anybody talk about. The picture had always been in that exact location as long as I could remember. One day when I was young I was at her house and happened to be looking at the picture while my grandmother was in the next room. She came in to see what I was doing since I had gotten quiet, and I asked her who the kids were in the picture with her. She told me they were my brothers, and that there was a third who wasn't in the picture. I then, thinking I had three older brothers, excitedly asked her where they were and why I had never met them. She just walked away and ignored the question. Any attempts after that to ask her or anybody else about the picture or the kids in it has been ignored in the same manner. I kinda gave up asking since even my parents would ignore it. My uncle was a huge drug dealer and banking major money. He ended up getting killed by some cartel when I was 9. Family told me he died fishing. I guess you could say he's sleeping with the fishes. I was talking to me my mom and somehow we go to the topic of why I've never met anyone from her family. She explained that her older brother tried to rape her on several occasions and her mom and dad remained in denial about it, even in the face of evidence, forever after. She never told anyone else about it after her parents blew her off, including my dad. I've heard other instances of the victim not being believed by the family, and it drives me crazy. F that, your mom is better off without them. I watched too many crime shows. I was definitely expecting you to tell us that your uncle murdered your aunt and she was stashed in the fridge. My mother owns over 10 buildings and didn't wanna tell me in case I start becoming corrupt and money hungry. My uncle told me this. She should trade some of those in for a single hotel. When I was 17, my family finally decided to break it to me that my birth was the result of my mother cheating on my dad. That my dad bailed on me when I was 8 because he found out that he was born sterile so it was impossible for me to be his. And that I am darker than everyone in my white family because I'm actually half Filipino. When I was 18 I found out by accident that my mother was a M user. Hit me hard like a truck and about 3 weeks after I found out the depression was too intense to carry. So I sit down and talk to my grandmother. As soon as my mouth opens my throat tightened up and the floodgates opened. I finally got it all out and asked. She was stunned I didn't know, but I thought the way she had acted all my life was normal. My grandmother then tells me that my dad used it just as much. My dad died when I was 2 and I never knew him, especially that he was addicted to such a serious drug. Lastly, I've also learned that one of my two uncles is a frequent M user. At least I know I will never touch that crap. Sorry to hear that man. My uncle was a heavy crack user and is currently in jail for dealing. Ironically his son is going down the same path, and may actually end up doing worse things than his dad. One of my grandfathers ran a brothel in El Salvador. He was murdered in Texas and one of his lesbian daughters now runs that same brothel. When I visited El Salvador as a kid, my mom told me to avoid a particular street on the eastern part of town. It wasn't until a couple of years ago that she told me why. My mother didn't want kids so my father threatened to divorce her, filed the paperwork and everything but she called him over one last time, and well here I am. 
secret family in Japan. Apparently, my American dad left the army having unwittingly impregnated his Japanese GF. She sent a letter but my grandma intercepted it and tore it up. He didn't find out for years. Now there's a whole mess of half Jewish, half Japanese folks related to me. Wait a minute. This is a King of the Hill episode. Dang it Bobby. A few years after my father died I learned that my dad have been visiting those gay sex places in the woods or at parking places where you can just hook up with random guys and have sex. If there's a name for those places, I'm sorry, I'm not aware. He was HIV positive and even kept it a secret from my mom for a couple of years while still having unprotected sex with her. When my mom found out she was furious, but luckily she didn't have HIV. The only thing I remembered was my parents having a huge argument at some point and that I was really scared they were going to get divorced. They stayed together for the kids, and to be honest, aside from the fights sometimes I always had great parents and we would have a lot of good family times. My mom must have had a really hard time then. Well, my dad must have had a hard time too, but they still did a great job raising their kids. After my father died my mom told me everything when I was about 16 and I was so shocked that I had to hear it a couple of times because I just blocked it the first few times. She kept it from me because she didn't want me to hate my dad. The funny thing is, my mom is now married to a woman, so I guess you could say both my parents were gay. I'm sorry for any spelling mistakes or weird sentences, English is not my native language. I never understand these situations, where a man and woman marry, then both happen to be gay. Makes me wonder if they both know about the other. My mom poisoned me on at least 3 or 4 different occasions. On purpose. She would usually undercook some food hoping I would die of food poisoning. I'm guessing. No idea if she added anything. I got suspicious when I ate some salmonella chicken. I was young and starving. And later overheard her telling my brother not to eat them and that they were for me. She made a big batch of chicken. As she usually does. Some pieces seemed fine. So I ate them and not the funny smelling ones. Still got sick. But I got better. According to my uncle. On his deathbed, he claimed to have walked into the house with my father to find her drowning me in the tub. Then there was that one time she almost shot me. That was an accident though. I was chasing my dog because he got off the chain and rounded a corner just as she fired. We was outside. The dog ran down the street. The bullet hit a tree a few feet away from me. We caught him later and she shot him anyway and told me he died of fleas. I had to bury his bleeding corpse. My dad is a douche who fricks his sister. Two things. One, I have an uncle in France. A parting gift from my grandfather to a very pretty young girl that he helped protect from Germans during World War II. Two, my mother came very close to marrying her first cousin, until their grandmother let them know who they were dating. I grew up thinking that my two brothers were my only siblings. However, I found out recently, I'm 31, that my dad had been cheating on my mom before my parents were married. The other woman was married, though, and when she got pregnant by my father, she deceived everyone and raised the girl as if she were the product of a healthy marriage. My parents married shortly after that, and two years later, I was born. The kicker, though, my half-sister and I grew up together as friends. We knew each other in school, and neither of us had any idea that we were siblings. TL. DR. My dad was a S, and my childhood friend turned out to be my sister. We all knew my father used to be a triad, gangster. Every time we had family events when I was young, there would be a lot of uncles about and normal people who lived near us would always avoid us. Never look us in the eye and be extra courteous. Heck, when I was young, I didn't have a lot of friends because all the kids' parents feared my dad. I never knew why they were scared of him until I overheard him on the phone one day in 1992. My father has always been very quiet about what he does his role in the organization that he worked for and I could understand why. From what I gathered after listening to the conversation on the phone, he was some sort of enforcer. Someone had snitched on the location of their drug warehouses or factories in China and they knew who snitched. They had him. And my father just said make it very slow and find his family. You know what to do. After listening in on that conversation, I couldn't even look my dad in the eye for a few weeks. But he's no longer part of the organization and he's retired. Still, sometimes he's scary. TL. DR. 
Father was a high-ranking gangster in Hong Kong who did shady stuff. I smell an AMA. Wouldn't really say this is anything dark. However growing up I thought my family was awesome and we all loved each other, crap was fantastic. However I start to get into my teen years and this doesn't seem the case anymore. My dad's parents don't seem as close and I began to feel like they look down upon me and maybe my mum. Well not long into my teens I find out my dad's parents hate my mum. My nan wrote a letter to my dad before their wedding telling him not to marry her. So now I understand that actually, these big happy family events I thought were happening, were all fake. Now whenever my dad's parents are over I can't help but thinking this is all fake crap. You all hate each other, why are we bothering to pretend? I'm sure my grandparents love me, but I can't stand how false everything has become. Let's see, when I was 12 or so I found a suitcase of gay pee, videos and mags, under my dad's bed. I found out that one of my uncles had killed himself following a certain amount of incest between the other siblings. My sister was raped while at university. Another friend, a musician, disappeared in the genocide. He was rounded up along with some hundred other Tutsi youths when the Tutsis were invading from Uganda, and simply vanished. A cousin, not by blood, was convicted of genocide in Rwanda. My half-sister, my dad was prolific, tried to steal all my father's money, and ended up becoming his favorite child. I've successfully hidden most of my dark secrets from my family. Holy crap you must have had an interesting life so far. I'm sorry for all if that crap you must have gone through man. If it makes you feel any better, I hope you feel great haha. <laughs> my great grandmother was outside with her 2 year old sister. This was in the 30s. She was watching her while her dad was out in the field working and whatnot. So, my grandma's little sister got annoying so, she got a huge stick and beat her nearly to death. She got sent to an insane asylum. My mother claims that my father is some man who disappeared when she got pregnant. She won't give me a name or anything. My entire life, she's only referred to him as your father, and refused to elaborate. Recently though, my aunt made it clear that this isn't true. We were having dinner, each of us had a few cocktails, and my aunt said that the whole story was just ridiculous. She said my mother made herself the victim of the story because she was so ashamed of the truth. I still don't know the truth. But at least I know that my father isn't some mysterious man who blew in and out of town. I can only think that your father is a relative of your mother. I'm one of four siblings. My parents had planned on three kids, and the fourth was my mom's last ditch attempt at a girl. She deceived my dad into thinking that she was still using contraception. She confided this to my ex-GF, who was murdered. So I may be the only one who knows the secret, other than my mom. But life has a sense of humor. My youngest sibling turned out to be another boy. They didn't keep this a secret but when I was younger I had a second cousin who was very intelligent. I remember he would always get on peg left at that game at the Cracker Barrel every time. He also really loved Stephen King novels. As time went on it turned out he was a schizophrenic and he was admitted to a mental hospital. He ended up escaping and killed himself by being hit by a train. My great grandpa's youngest brother was really his nephew. His sister got pregnant at 15 in the 1930s, and they lived in a super conservative area, so they tried to pass the kid off as her brother, kinda like the empty child. During my parents' divorce, when I was 3, my dad offered my mom a one-time payment of $15,000 or so for us to walk out of his life and never deal with him again. He was trying to get out of paying child support and my mother's lawyer told her to record every phone conversation with my father to be used against him. I found out when I was about 12 or so because I was looking for blank cassette tapes to make radio mixtapes and found a huge stash under my mother's bed. The first one I picked up was that conversation and queued up to be played for the judge. TL. DR. My dad is sort of a dong. My mom tried to commit suicide when she was 18 by jumping from a two-story parking garage. She broke dozens of bones and is now littered with steel plates and screws under the skin. As a kid, I assumed that was just normal and eventually I would get some metal bones too. Until my grandma asked how my mom's past injuries felt in the winter. She was asking if she had arthritis from the injuries. Specifically, I had to ask my mom about it and I have never viewed her the same since. 
As a 13 year old that had just begun taking antidepressants and therapy, it hit the softest of soft spots. I used to think she was basically a pillar. Being a single mom and working two jobs to scrape by and all that. Now she just seems so fragile colon I'm sincerely terrified of her attempting again. I never want to see go like that. She deserves better. I am the only one of my siblings to actually be related to my dad. My mom's husband. I'm the oldest. To clarify, my parents were together for all or our births and divorced when I was 12. My youngest sibling was 8. My father doubted I was his child, not my sister's, and got paternity tests on all of us. I'm the only one who is actually related. Yet another reason why I hate to go home. My mother's monitor would be always turned in a way that I could not see what is on it, but she did not realize everything did reflect clearly in the glass behind her. This way I had to discover that she watched some really weird and messed up pee. This is Reddit. Define messed up. I have a few strange things about my family. Not many are dark, though. My grandmother had six children. The last was an accident. A product of her sleeping with the 15 year old babysitter. After she had my uncle. She put him up for adoption. But went back to get him two days later. My aunt got pregnant at 15. And my grandmother brought her into an abortion clinic under the guise of it being a doctor's office. My aunt had to run away for a few weeks until abortion wasn't an option. That leads us to the next story about her daughter she gave birth to. My cousin told her that our uncle, a different one than one previously mentioned, had molested her as a kid. My aunt did nothing about it. This same uncle beat up his former wife because she couldn't get pregnant. Aunt D, I barely remember her, and cheated on her and got another woman pregnant. He has two girls, but their mother took them away around the same time the accusations came up about him molesting my cousin. Until recently, we didn't know where they were, but he found them. The younger one is ignoring him, the older one, who I remember playing with, is pretty cool, but I think is a slight sociopath. My older half sister's father was a coke addict and when given the choice, chose the drugs over my mother and my sister. They never met until a few years ago, when she was a junior in high school, about 7 months before he died of hep C. My mother dated my father before my sister father, and went back to him after they split. I was makeup sex baby, about a month after I was born. After being with my mother and helping with my sister, he bailed. He says my mother said I wasn't his, but I think he's just shifting blame. My mother was abused as a kid, beaten, kicked out, etc. But that didn't stop her from being an abuser herself. She thought as long as she didn't beat us, it wasn't abuse. She was very mentally abusive, would blow up at anything and everything, and make us feel like everything was our fault. Every failed relationship was because we scared them off, made us feel like existing was ruining her life. She trashed our rooms, ruined friendships. For example my mother got into a fight with her boyfriend about not wanting to give him a blow job. When my friend and I were in the next room, she never came over after that. When my sister's father died, his caretaker and girlfriend was neglecting him. He weighed 85 pounds when he died, and was around 5 foot 6. My sister doesn't know. TL. DR. You think your family is fricked up? Uncle molested my cousin, who was almost aborted. Another uncle is the babysitter's sperm. My mom is an abuser in denial. And my sister's dad wasted away before his death because his girlfriend was a psychopath. My extremely homophobic uncle was a big cross dresser. He always preaches about how God will punish America for allowing gay marriage. But he was the biggest queen in the county. He thinks no one knows. But we all do. My paternal great grandparents emigrated from Germany because their whole family became Nazis. Rather high ranking in the Wehrmacht were some of them. Too. I found out when I found an iron cross in my granddad's drawer. When I was 15, I was accused of sexual assault. This came after having met a random girl outside a movie theater around my area, trading numbers and then being called by the police several hours later saying that I was a suspect. I was arrested later that night, charged and held in remand for almost exactly a year, including the trail. It turned out to be exactly a year to the day. Funny how those things work out. 
I dropped out of high school, obviously, had to resign from my part time job while incarcerated, a weird experience, and to anyone outside of the family who knew me at the time, I basically vanished off the face of the earth. Eventually, at the end of the trial, I was found not guilty, glaring holes in her story, DNA evidence showing no contact sexual or otherwise etc, and a really badly performed investigation by the police, and went on my merry, my parents and family sacrificed a lot trying to get me out, especially money wise, I'm 22 now and even to this day we're still feeling the effects, parents are still working to pay off debt, after a few years of denial, Heavy drinking and more than a few social embarrassments caused by my behavior, I was diagnosed with panic, disorder and major recurrent depression. These days, only my family, close family friends, a few of my own friends and my fiance know. When an article was printed about it some years after it had all happened, a friend of mine who I had known for two years happened to see it and couldn't believe it, I had forgotten that she didn't know since I don't really speak about it anymore. My teen years were pretty surreal. If that would have happened, she would have been given a prison sentence for false reporting, and I would have sued the crap out of her for damages, and pretty much try to ruin her life like she tried with mine. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.